everybody, I'm Amelia Gearhart. Do you know what a gear heart is? It's a symbol. It means you love learning about how things work. What kind of things? Well, I love learning about science, technology, engineering, math, and trades. Or for short, STEM and trades. Science is exploring something new. Technology is all the digital devices all around us. Engineering is how we design new things. Math is all the numbers and reasoning we need for pretty much everything. And trades are hands-on jobs that make it come all together. STEM and trade jobs are super cool jobs that you can have when you grow up. And these jobs are all around us. You just have to know where to look. So come on, let's learn about STEM and trades and how things work. Roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party, roll up to the party. Today, we're gonna learn about chemistry. Chemistry is a science and a field of engineering. It's how all the materials around us interact with each other. Chemists and chemical engineers study all types of chemicals and how they can be mixed up to make useful stuff. Chemistry is used to make pretty much everything we have, so it's super duper important. It's used to make all kinds of things like paint, cement, toothpaste, shampoo, plastic. There's a lot of things we need that are plastic. Gas for your car, food, medicine. Come to think of it, I can't think of a single thing that doesn't need chemistry in some way. That's so cool. So come on, let's learn about chemistry. One of the most important things a chemist looks at all the time is called the periodic table. The periodic table shows all the different elements in the universe. It's so cool. Can you name a few elements? I bet you recognize oxygen. That's in the air that we breathe. Copper, that's a type of metal. It's kind of an orange. Neon, that's a neat gas that shines really bright. There are so many different elements and they all behave differently. Chemists have to understand how each element behaves so they can make the elements do their bidding. <laughs> Chemistry is so cool. In fact, the early chemists were seen as wizards. Now we call chemistry a science, but I still kind of think chemists are wizards anyway. Speaking of wizard chemists, I want you to meet my friend Merlin. Yes, her name is really Merlin. She's a chemical engineer and a scientist and she uses chemistry magic to make really cool stuff. Let's give her a call. Hi, Merlin. Hi, Amelia. Merlin, what's it like being a chemist? Oh, it's so fun. I get to take normal materials and turn them into something really cool. That does sound like fun. What kinds of materials do you make? I make really strong fibers from plastics. The fibers are so strong, they're like 10 times stronger than steel. Wow, that's really strong. Where do the fibers get used? We use the fibers and to make airplanes, cars, and anything that needs to be strong but lightweight. That's so cool. Hey, what made you want to be a chemical engineer in the first place? Well, I wanted to be a chemical engineer because I love understanding the shapes of different molecules and how you can change those molecules to make something completely different. That's so neat. Thanks for sharing with us. You're welcome, Amelia. Keep learning about different STEM and trades. They're so important. Okay, Merlin, I will. Bye. That was so cool. Merlin has a really cool job, that's for sure. Right, Rosie? <laughs> hey, do you remember she said she loved learning about molecule shapes? Molecules are how the elements can stick together to make different materials. Do you want to see some molecules and what they look like? Yeah! All right. This one, this is actually water. Yeah, this is the water that you drink. Each of these balls is an atom or a type of element. Water has two kinds of elements, hydrogen and oxygen. We can describe molecules with chemical formulas. The chemical formula for water is H2O because it has two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. This is peroxide. This is what your grown-up uses to clean up your boo-boos. It has two hydrogen atoms and two oxygen atoms. This is a, hey, what are you doing on my molecule, Mini Amelia? <laughs> so silly. Mini Amelia. Do you know what you're sitting on? This molecule that you're sitting on is called epoxy. It's a type of plastic. How many different kinds of atoms do you see in epoxy? Hmm. That's right, there's three. There's hydrogen, oxygen, and carbon. Pretty much all plastic is made from those three atoms. If you want to learn about plastic molecules, you could be a polymer chemist. Polymer is a fancy word for plastic. Hey, Rosie, what kind of polymer are you made of? <laughs> hmm, I bet it's called ABS. 
ABS plastic is very common in toys. <laughs> Uh, and robot unicorns that are not considered toys at all. <laughs> Ooh, that was a lot of molecules. They look so cool, and it was really fun putting them together. You could try too. Just try foam balls, straws, and some paint. Oh, you know what? I don't think I finished painting this one. Do you want to paint it with me? Yeah! All right, so we've got some paper down to keep the table nice and tidy. I've got my paint tool bag with some paints in it. We'll need lots of different colors and paint brushes. Okay, so this molecule has four hydrogen atoms. So the hydrogen atoms are blue, so we need to paint this one blue. So let's do it. The way I like to paint foam balls is I like to just squirt a bunch of paint on it and then smear it around with the foam brush. Nice, that looks so good. Okay, now this atom is a carbon atom. It's pink, so we need to paint it pink. Here we go. All right, I might have missed a few spots. But it looks pretty good, right? Kind of like a race car. Or a spaceship. That's so nice. We've learned so much about chemistry already. I think it's time to do a chemistry experiment. Chemistry experiments are the best way to feel like a mad scientist, matter of fact. <laughs> All right, today I thought we'd make elephant toothpaste. Unfortunately, I do not have a pet elephant in need of toothbrushing. But this experiment is something really cool you can do at home with normal stuff like soap. It's a great way to see how chemical reactions can change materials into something completely different. Okay, before you do any science experiments, the first thing is safety. Chemical engineers wear a lot of safety gear to protect them from the chemicals and the chemical reactions. Some chemicals are pretty dangerous. I've got goggles and gloves and a lab coat. The goggles protect my eyes in case anything splashes or explodes. <laughs> Whoa! The gloves protect my hands and the lab coat protects my body. Also, chemists work in a laboratory. That's a special place made just for mixing chemicals and creating different reactions. Okay, here we go. All right. Okay, so we're gonna make elephant toothpaste. First, you mix hydrogen peroxide with dish soap. So let's do that. Hydrogen peroxide with some dish soap. Okay, so we're gonna put about that much hydrogen peroxide. And we've got our dish soap. I wanna put it in there. Good deal. And then we have to mix my fancy mixer. Chemistry is a lot of mixing. Hey, do you remember the hydrogen peroxide molecule? That was so fun. All right, I think that's all mixed up. Now you mix the yeast with some baking soda and water. So let me put this yeast in here. Okay, so that's the yeast and then I need some water. So I'll put some water in there. Cool, nice. All right, so let me mix that one up. Okay, I think this is going to work. So now I'm going to put some food coloring in this bottle on the sides. You'll see why soon. I'll give you a hint. This is what makes it look like toothpaste. All right, we've got our food coloring. Okay, are we ready? I'm gonna pour this one in first. Try not to touch my food coloring. Get it all mixed in all nice. Okay, here we go. Whoa! 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 That looks just like toothpaste. That became really big. There's a lot here. This makes me feel like an evil genius. <laughs> okay, well, what's happening here? 
the hydrogen peroxide molecule has two oxygen atoms and two hydrogen atoms. Together, they form a liquid. But when you mix it with yeast, they split apart and turn into hydrogen and oxygen gases. The dish soap captures the gas gotcha. as little tiny bubbles that make this foam. Gas molecules take up way more space than solid or liquid molecules, so that's why they get so much bigger. Wow, that was awesome. Who would have thought that you could turn ordinary stuff into foam like that? Amazing. Chemists get to do all kinds of experiments like this in school, and when they get a job, they get to make all kinds of useful stuff. Hey, do you want to make something cool with chemistry that you can keep? Let's do it. Okay, we're gonna use chemistry to make something we can keep. We're gonna use a special type of plastic called epoxy. Hey, one of my molecules was epoxy, remember? Epoxy is super interesting because it starts as two different liquids and then when you mix them, it turns into a solid. What's really cool about it is that you can mix all kinds of cute things like glitter into it and make it fabulous. Check out this epoxy gear heart. <gasps> Doesn't that look so cute? I love it so much. All right, let's mix up some epoxy. First, you have to measure out equal parts of the two liquids. Then you have to mix, 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 mix until you cannot mix anymore for about two minutes. Mixing makes sure that all the chemicals can touch each other and complete their chemical reaction. Chemists do a lot of mixing, that's for sure. Once it's all mixed up, you pour the mixture into the mold and then add all your pretty things. Epoxy can take a while to turn solid, so you have to be patient. But when it's done, you can pull it out of the mold and you'll have something like this. Ta-da! <laughs> wow, that's so awesome. I love making real things with chemistry. If you think you'd like to be a chemist or a chemical engineer, make sure you learn all about the periodic table and all of the elements. Thanks so much for learning about chemistry and chemistry jobs with me. If you'd like to see more of my videos, be sure to like and subscribe. And no matter what career you choose, just know that I, Amelia Kierhart, believe in you. Bye, friends!